I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the density of water and mercury. All right, so density isn't something that we can really know without looking it up and seeing what scientists figured out a long time ago. So without further ado, water the density is one grams per mil, and mercury's density is 13.5 grams per mil. So we can tell just from these numbers, 13.5 is a lot bigger than one, mercury is a lot more dense than water. So what would happen if you put both of these into a cup? Well, you'd create two layers, and we can actually predict which substance would go into which layer just by looking at the densities, as we can with all liquids. So mercury is going to be weighed down more by gravity, and it's going to be found all the way at the bottom. Whereas water is much lighter, it's going to be up here. So density is really the only property that affects what liquid is going to be found at the bottom of the cup versus the top of the cup. And this is very similar to another density experiment we can do, where if we added oil and water, you'd have two layers, but this time H2O would be on the bottom because water is much more dense than oil. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the density of water and mercury.